poncho. Not really sure how long this video is gonna last, but if it doesn't, then I'll just record with the phone. Using this rack, server rack rail, because I don't feel like tearing down any of the trees up here and uh, possibly violating any rules. So, but when you're in the field, you can get a branch about this length and about a wrist thickness to hold you up. side of it in and make it into a uh, little bulge like a hammock end. You're going to take one end with the inside of the tarp facing up, fold the sides into the middle, back onto the outside and fold the new outside into the middle again. And then do it one more time. And you end up with an end that looks like so. All you do is you take that, scrunch it up, grab your strings on the end, and fold it over. This is the part that's going to go inside your lark's head.
next part is to Lark's head the uh, strap or whatever quarters you're going to use. This is about to run out, so I will continue it with the foam. Alright, now we're back. We've got the uh, tree strap up with the uh, continuous loop hanging. We've got our poncho knotted up on one side with the uh, cordage trailing out the other side and what we're going to do is now we're going to lark's head the uh, continuous loop and insert the poncho top on the long end. Everything we need to tie off the uh, seated portion. This is what it looks like once it's spark headed. Okay. Now I'm going to put you down back a little further so you can see what's going on. Wish I would have charged the other camera before I left. Once you have everything tied back the way as instructed, you insert your uh, 
stiffening stick and then you have to tie out the uh, ends of it to another tree let's do that now so for that the camera back here So after you've gotten your cordage, tied it from one side, around the tree, around the other side, and back to the other side of the stick or whatever you're using to go through the poncho, it should look a little something like this after you even everything out. Kind of like a little seat. And then if you've done everything right, you can actually sit in it and it'll support your weight. So now we can get ready to let the laughs resume. Let's see if this actually works. And that's literally all you need. Your poncho, a branch, a stiff branch about as thick, thick as your wrist, and some cordage to go around the next tree. And the tree strap. Well, you don't really need a tree strap. Like I said, if you have your 50 foot repelling line, you can do all of this with just the repelling line. What you would do is take the repelling line and go around the tree, tie it off, and then tie your poncho into it, then come down, tie it to one end of the, your uh, branch, run around the tree and come back to the other side of the branch and you're done.
course, you'll have leftovers, but that 50 feet of cable, 50 feet of repelling line should be more than enough. Uh, your USGI repelling cordage should be with you at all times if you have it. If not, improvise. Out here.